Hello, everybody. I'm Jim Powers, and we welcome you back to MaryvilleSaints.com and Saints Vision as we begin to wrap up the basketball season. And joining us is head women's basketball coach Chris Ellison. Chris, you know, last week a split go down the jury and come out on the short end of the stick, but a real nice performance on Saturday afternoon against Missouri S&T, which puts the women into a must-win situation coming up on Thursday night against Umsel. Well, it is, and you know, a lot of things happen before this, you know, this date uh, to put us in that situation. So, um, you know, looking back, there, there's certainly a couple of games that we would like to have back, but we are fortunate to be able to play this last game for. For, for a spot in the tournament. You know, one of the things over the weekend, once again, was the, the play underneath of Alex Hillier. And we'll talk about her as a senior here in a moment. But Stephanie Sherwood really, you know, once again, strung a really nice couple games together for you guys. She did. She had a really good game at home um, against S&T. Allie Ringering had a nice game, too, at home against S&T. But, uh, you know, Alex has been a, a stalwart for us in, in the middle, which we knew she would be. And um, I, I think if you if, if you go back and, and you look at it, there's there's probably no player in the history of Maryville that scored more points per minute than Alex Hillier. And it's pretty impressive. You know, you talk a little bit about the youngsters and – They've gotten some very valuable minutes, you know, throughout the year this year, just because of necessity. It's not something that you normally like to do, but, you know, out of necessity they did. And overall, I think they've done a pretty good job. Well, they have. Um, you know, they, the thing I like about this team is no matter how, you know, how the game turned out on Thursday, and we, we've had some games that have not turned out very well on Thursday. Friday, they still come ready to practice. They still come ready to learn. Um, ready to give you 100%. I know a lot of that's cliche, but I really enjoy seeing this team every day. A uh, great group of people to work with, and there's not a lot of coaches that can say that. So um, to the players, I'd like to say thanks You know, from a coaching standpoint, and I'm sure our staff feels the same way. That There's been very few years uh, that, that we've enjoyed working with a group as much as we have this group. So well, you know how much they've learned, we'll find out down the road. But um, as far as from a coaching perspective, just looking forward to seeing a group of people every day. Uh, um, this group has been one of those kind of groups. Let's talk about our two seniors that we're going to honor playing their last home game here at Maloney Arena on Thursday night. First, Jordan Martin. You know, unfortunate that her back just wasn't going to let her, you know, be able to play this year. But she has been such a great kid to have in our program. Well, we, we recruited Jordan out of high school, and I, I suspected at that point in time that she would be one of the top uh, two guards in the state, and she was. Uh, we, we recruited her hard, unfortunately. We did not get her on the, on the first uh, go-around, but uh, we did get her um, you know, her sophomore year, and ever since she came in, she was the player that we knew that she would be, you know, a great three-point shooter, terrific basketball IQ. Uh, there's been very few players that I've coached that have had you know, her, her ability just to see the floor and, and know what to do uh, with or without the ball. I think her, her dad's influence had a lot to do with that. Mike did an amazing job with her growing up, obviously, and um, she, was, she was ready to play the second she stepped in here her, her sophomore year and, and helped lead us to a championship game and you know middle of the season last year she did have sustained you know the little jar in her back and um and just never fully recovered and even this summer it was it was tough for her and you know we tried to give it a go and, and it just wasn't going to happen so uh, a, a difficult ending for everybody um, uh, especially um, Jordan you know uh, it was tough on me uh, because I, I do think so highly of her and, and really wanted to coach her through the senior year and tough on our team because she would have made a big difference in a lot of games and then Alex Hillier I, I mean you have talked about this can you just imagine the numbers that if she would have been with us for four years the numbers that she she would have been right there most likely with Shelby and Abby. Well, Alex is another one that, that you know we we had recruited and uh, she committed to Missouri State early, transferred, knew she would be a great player for us. Um, and yeah, I mean, I, I would say that if she averaged thirty minutes a game, she probably wouldn't have got that many, um, you know, her first year as a freshman. But if she'd have played five to ten more minutes per game, I would say she would be looking at nearly two thousand points. Um, which is a boatload of points. So uh, just the, the points per minute is, is ridiculous uh, it, when you think about it. It's almost a point a minute. Yeah. And, um, uh, you know, she's, a, she's been a great rebounder for us and a great kid to have, um, just, a, just a really nice, nice, good kid. And um, we're going to miss her. 
Um, so comes in on Thursday night, and we all know the stakes. It's not just for us, for them. This is this is going to be a knockdown, dragout, heavyweight fight, you know, to get into the tournament. Well, certainly not the best case feel good scenario for a senior night, but you know, might as well, and uh, we'll see what happens. Outstanding stuff, Chris. Thanks so much. We'll talk to you on Thursday at senior night. Thanks, Jim. Chris Ellis joins us here as we get ready for UMSL. Night of a Thousand Saints, Kids Rock Cancer Night here at the Simon Center. We'll honor both Jordan and Alex before the tip-off of the women's game at 5.30, and we'll have all the action for you right here on Saints Vision. For Coach, I'm Jim Powers. Thanks so much for tuning in to MaryvilleSaints.com and Saints Vision. Have a great week, and as always, go Saints.